Thanksgiving is nearly here and it's a time to get together with family and friends and bond around the table of delicious food and kids will have an extended weekend to enjoy the holiday, but it doesn't mean they have to stop learning. Uh, Frank Jacoby with Sylvan Learning uh, is here to discuss a few activities parents can do with their child over the weekend, over the holidays rather, uh, to keep their child's mind active and to continue learning. Thank you so, so much for joining us, Frank. Thank you, Keenan. All right, so what are some of the ways that we can turn holiday and holiday prep into a meaningful experience for our children? Well, practice makes perfect. Okay. And so Thanksgiving and really around the year, there's the opportunity for parents to provide chances for children to learn by applying the things they have really learned in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Thanksgiving is a good example of that where, for example, uh, cooking. Yes. An important part of Thanksgiving, of mm -hmm. course, where the whole family sometimes gets involved. Right, and there's cooking. math in cook involved in cooking. Right? Yeah, absolutely, and so there's a lot of math in cooking. And if we think about the measuring of ingredients that might go into a recipe. Uh, we might have, for example, uh, a cup of a particular ingredient, but that recipe is designed to serve eight people, okay. but we're having 12. We could ask our child to calculate how much of that ingredient is necessary if we're serving 12. Or how about how much time it takes to cook the turkey? If it's 15 right. minutes for every pound in that turkey and we want to serve dinner at four o'clock, what time do we have to put that turkey in the oven is a good question that our child can help us solve. Right, and that's a multi-step question because first you have to figure out how much time the turkey needs to cook and then you have to back time it so it helps the child, you know, in multi-step problems as well. Exactly, exactly. I see football here. Now, yes. some of the things I can see is like, okay, reading, I get it, but how's the football? How can that be turned into a learning experience? There's a lot of math in football. And so how many yards is it to that field goal? Mm -hmm. uh, how how many points do we have to score in order to beat the spread? Right. Uh, so math is continually being presented to us when we're watching a football game and discussing the dynamics of how far do we have to go for a first down, how far for a touchdown. All those dynamics reinforce and are a learning opportunity. And it sounds like it's another wonderful opportunity as well to just spend time with our children, whether you're cooking uh, with your child and talking to them and experiencing the joy of spending time together or watching football and talking to your child. So these aren't don't seem like just learning opportunities. They're also bonding opportunities yes. as well. Yes, very much so. Uh, these are the things that really year round are opportunities for us. And we don't always think of them. We don't always take time for them whether it comes to going through the Black Friday circulars right. uh, and calculating the discount percentages or markdown percentages mm -hmm. or how much turkey we have to buy if it's a pound and a half to two pounds for every guest. Right. Or writing up the things we think we're, the things we're thankful for. Or cutting up a pie and or, doing ratios and things, yes, things like exactly. that. Yes, exactly. So are, is, uh, where can we find more of these types of ideas to help our parents as we approach the holidays? Uh, of course, online. Mm -hmm. uh, you can Google Thanksgiving uh, learning opportunities, and uh, these and more will be presented to you. All right. Thank you so much. Frank Jacoby of Sylvan Learning, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you, Keenan, for having me.